Let's move from weather to review it. And review is the time we give our personal opinions on pop culture and much more. And today we're reviewing Butterbeer. So if you're not sure, <laughs> like I'm not sure, I guess Butterbeer, it's a drink featured in the Harry Potter book series. You can find all kinds of recipes for it online. And a member of our production team, Victoria, was kind enough to make us some homemade Butterbeer. And that, here we are. That's right. With so our goblets. We have our goblets. This was my first time having butter beer, but the ingredients are butterscotch syrup, cream soda, mm -hmm. butter, and heavy cream. Wow. If you've read the Harry mm, Potter so books, um, they, they drink butter beer a few times throughout the series, mm. and I know it's featured at Orlando Studios. They have like butter beer they serve really? people. Yeah. Um, but okay, I'm going to take a drink real Let's quick. Let's see. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's smooth. Oh, yeah. And so that's delicious. And especially <laughs> the cream soda. I haven't had cream soda in such a long time. We yeah. are featuring foods throughout the week, if you haven't um, caught on, that are featured in books for Read Across America Week. What did you think, Amber? I liked the butterscotch. I don't even like butterscotch, mm -hmm. but I liked it in here. Or do you like butterscotch? Yeah, maybe, maybe I do. do. <laughs> maybe I just wasn't eating it the right ways. Um, I taste the cream soda and the butterscotch. Just the word butterbeer mm -hmm. sounds appetizing to me. It does. And then having this, it's kind of, I don't know, refreshing a little bit. I would have this as a dessert. It it's is. not something I'd have two glasses of, and maybe not even a full glass, because it's very rich. Very mm -hmm. rich. But maybe a good dessert. What's on top there? What's sprinkled on top? Gold. Gold uh, sprinkles. But it does make, are we feeling magical after drinking this? I might like, fly away. Expelliarmus. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? That's from, <laughs> that's from Harry Potter. You, oh, yeah. Wow. Woo! We got our first new <laughs> drum set. All right. Uh, yeah, so I think my kids would absolutely Same. adore this. It is very strong. It is very sweet. Mm -hmm. I can only handle a little sip at a time. but And it's non-alcoholic. We should probably mention that part. Well, right. Right? It, that's right. It's we called butter beer. Yeah. But There's no it's, alcohol in it. It's, it's kind of like root beer. It's for kids. Yeah. I, yeah. Might, I might pour it into my coffee. There we go. Actually, that wouldn't be In fact, be bad. I'm going to do that. I'm okay. going to. There's okay. no might about it. Okay. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus into our drink. All right. I gave it four out of seven. <laughs> I also gave it a four out of seven. And, and for some of the points that Amber Wheeler had mentioned, it is very, very rich. And we are so thankful to Victoria. Absolutely. Thank you, Victoria. Victoria. Thank you. Okay. This has been Review It, and tomorrow <laughs> is Friday, or as we call it, Brew Day. We'll have Ivan here from Stone Home Brewing. Oh, man. Okay. Come